Hi guys. So it is a gorgeous Michigan August day here and I'm getting ready to make bruschetta. I want to show you guys I figured out how to make the best bruschetta. And part of it, it's so wonderful because I have our tomatoes that you can see out there, um, our fresh tomatoes. And we love these orange cherry tomato sun golds. And that's part of why it's so good. But we did make this same recipe before the summer tomatoes came in and it was still really good. So today I'm gonna show you how to do it on sourdough bread. You don't have to do that. You can just grab some French, a French loaf at the store if you want. But I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's super easy. Can you see how it's sort of dry? And you don't want to wait too long to add more water, but when you see it's kind of dry like this, just add a little bit at a time. Okay, that little bit made it much better, but it still doesn't feel right to me. It just feels like it needs a smidge more water. Okay, so I added about two tablespoons of warm water and this feels a lot better. It, it's not sticky, but it's not dry anymore and it's cleaning off the sides really well, obviously, too, here. Now I'm going to dust the counter with a little bit of flour and roll my dough out onto there. Now, my favorite kitchen tool lately is this, I don't know, I call it a dough cutter, but I also need to clean up the counter afterwards, too. It's so nice. But anyway, I'm just going to cut this dough into fours. Now I got these set aside and kind of floured a little bit on both sides because you don't want them to stick to your counter while you're working on the other piece. So I'm gonna work on this one first and I'm gonna need a little more flour. You just kind of get this in a little ball and then I'm going to roll it out into a rectangle. Okay, I've got this one rolled out and now I've got about a tablespoon more of, you can use avocado or olive oil. I'm gonna brush this around. Now I'm gonna sprinkle in some garlic powder Nothing has to be exact, just cover the whole thing well. And now some Italian seasoning. Now I'm gonna roll it up from the long side and I have to put the phone down for this, but I'll show you how it looks when I'm done. So I've got my first one all rolled up and if it sticks a little as you're rolling, I just take my scraper and just grab some flour and scooch it kind of underneath it as I roll it, it's super easy. Now I'm gonna do the other three and let them rise. So just put them seam side down and let them rise. If you used yeast, it won't take very long. And if you have sourdough, it will take a couple hours or maybe more. Here's where I usually put them so they can rise nice and tall. Now I'm going to brush on this egg wash. It's got a little bit of milk in there. Now my bread's in the oven, so I'm coming out here to harvest some parsley and some basil. And I was just watching a video to find out exactly how I'm supposed to be harvesting this, because I think I've been doing it wrong. It's not looking so great. So apparently you're supposed to harvest it right from the bottom of each stalk. So now I'm going to go over here and get some basil. And I looked up how to do that too. Apparently you're supposed to like, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to take off just that top and leave those two that are growing on each side. And I'm going to do that with a few more. Now I've got a bowl full of herbs and that should be good. So I have the herbs in here. Now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of garlic powder, three quarter teaspoon-ish of sea salt. This is part olive oil and part avocado oil. An eighth a teaspoon of sugar. A quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. And now I'm going to add the tomatoes and blend it up. Now I'm going to brush on some olive oil mixed with avocado oil and bake them till they're kind of toasty. 